finally back for Formers Fridays. I know I took a couple weeks off. Derek had some stuff he wanted to show off, which is awesome. I want that blaster in Power Master Prime. It will be mine. But I think I can top dirt. At least not this week, but in a couple weeks. I've got some stuff coming up, some awesome stuff. Uh, almost all of it is going to be Headmasters, Titan Return stuff. And uh, I'm really, really excited because the new Transformers stuff has come out and it is awesome and I can't wait to show some of it off with you. This week, though, we're going to take a look at a couple of the Legends class figures. We're going to take a look at Stripes, who... I will never call Stripes, I will be calling him Steeljaw, but um, we'll be taking a look at Stripes and Rewind. So let's rip him up and take a look right now. Okay guys, this is Stripes and Rewind. I will never call him Stripes again except for the outro. That is Steeljaw. If you watch old school Transformers, that is why. I will never call him Stripes, that is a stupid name. Might as well call your name after your cat. But this is what they are in uh, tablet form. I guess they're supposed to be tablets. This one does look the part of a tablet, but he looks like an old school cassette or somebody trying to make it look like one. Like maybe that's the the background on their tablet or something, but I love the attention to G1 detail on this one at least. But that's their disguise mode. Now let's take a look at their alternate mode. Okay, here's Steeljaw and Rewind in their, I guess, vehicle mode. And we got Steel Jaws uh, plane, which is pretty cool. Um, not sure how I feel about the legs sticking out on the back, but for the appearance, it works out all right. And I'm really, really loving Rewind. The love for Rewind does not end. He's a cool tank, and the way he transforms. These are his arms normally, and they're separated, but the gun clips in between them, holding it in place. And I just love it. And he actually has wheels. Oh my gosh, there's actual wheels. And this is like a $10 figure for Transformers. That's pretty cheap for something pretty cool like this. Other than the fact that it's tiny and small, I'm loving every bit of this. So now let's do the Hail Mary and take a look at their robot modes or their animal modes or whatever we're going to see. The Transformers will return after these messages. Introducing Blaster. He looks like an innocent radio, but transformed, he's the powerful Autobot communicator. The Transformers, each sold separately from Hasbro. We now return to the Transformers. Okay, guys, and this is the final form, so to speak. I swear I'm going to try my hardest to stop quoting Dragon Ball. But, um, yeah, we got Steeljaw and Rewind here. And I still can't get enough of Rewind. I love this figure so much. Steeljaw is pretty awesome, too, but he feels so flimsy. Like, the joints are solid and everything, just you can see how thin he is in pieces. It's like... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Steeljaw. He just feels like he's a figure that, while won't fall apart, feels like he's a figure that should under what the material feels like. But I'm still happy with it. He looks like he's falling apart, doesn't he? He's completely solid. There's nothing missing. Maybe the sticker's sliding off place a little bit, but that's not really enough to get upset about. But for what they cost... I'm loving these figures so much, especially Rewind. I really need a Blaster figure just so I can have them hang out with Blaster and say, Hey, boss, and whatever. But that's it for them. So, they're super awesome, but that's all I got. Okay, guys, that was Stripes and Rewind. Um, that's it for this week. want to check out more fun information on toys, video games, comic books, all that fun stuff, Check out the popculturenetwork.com. If you want to talk to more nerds like myself, check out uh, jointheforums.com. And there's all sorts of other stuff. We've got a uh, 24-hour hotline. Please give us a call. We heard your complaints. I got a new camera. I love dirt so much. Thank you for a new camera. I needed it. And so did the audience. Now, tell us what else can make the show a better show. 
And uh, if you want to help or suggest something, give us a call, comment on the comments somewhere. <laughs> And there's so many ways you guys can get involved, and I would appreciate any kind of input you have. And just contact us, check out all the information you can if you're interested in that. And until next week, this is The Geek for the Pop Culture Network saying, good journey.